but that's the rotation of the board. And that's one thing you cannot see, you just try to feel and it's a little bit of a stamp. And uh, there's until now no way to measure the, the rotation of the board. Yeah. I don't know if this, um, in future maybe the program has some possibility also to capture the movement, or if there's a possibility to map the board somehow, or practice at least, that you can measure the rotation. Yeah. So um, actually, it, it is possible. Um, for for rotation of the ball, you need at least a very good camera with very high frame rates because the, the rotation is very fast. But these cameras are available on the market. Okay, so we can use such cameras. You have to to put on some some information, so some points, and we can track that points. And for that, we we are not so it's it's not like like using these reflecting markers. So this can be placed somewhere. So it might be just a point, or a green point, a red point. But at least we need at least three points which are seen by two cameras at the same time, or a specific pattern of the ball. So if the ball is adapted to our needs, we can also calculate the rotation of the ball. So this is, of course, possible within our system. Um, and this it was also been done within many kind of sports like basketball or football. There, the ball is a little bit bigger, and there, like the, 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 the rotation can be calculated better because you can place better markers and you see it better. But it can be done. So we tried it out um, also together with the Shanghai Uni University, where we tried it out in our lab how we can use our system to do that. Does it mean with uh, one video you could analyze technically a match and even technically at least in? In terms of trajectory, placement, rotation, not yet. Um, is that correct? With one video. No. You need at least for a ball tracking, for trajectories of the ball, yeah. you need two cameras who see the ball at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay? No, but it's just, so it's just video cameras, and we can get out the information of tactics, yeah. we can get out the information of kinematics, we can also combine that, so we can use kinematic information to get out tactical sides. I think you also want to know uh, how often, so if you can measure the, the rotation, you would also want to know how often is the player A is doing like this kind of, ro of rotation or this kind of rotation. So, so these are all information you, you can get out within our system. Yeah. With one video, so it's just filmed by yes. two or three or four cameras, but with one video. It's just a video, yes. Okay. And you can filter out, let's say, certain situations like service receipt. Uh, service, placement of the service, trajectory of the yes. wall, and receive. So this, as easy it is, yeah? So. It sounds good. There are many possibilities to do that. So either you could, could do that, you get education from our side, you have a system, or you know some research institutes who should or might doing it for you, or we can do it as a service. So you all only have to press start and stop at the video cameras, and all, ca all video files came to our server, and we have a special template on base of your needs. So as you told, um, I want to have the information, maybe like of the kinematics of the shoulder, elbow, and wrist. I want to have the information of um, the angle the ball touches the bat, and I want to have the information of the rotation. So these informations will, co will come to one, one data sheet uh, with the video, so it's... No, this is what you, yes, this is what we, we do within our software, so it's just like export all to a data sheet. And a report is just like, um, it's just, it's very easy to do for us. It's just like marking um, beginning and end of a movement. We have to mark that, where is the start of the analysis, where's the stop, and then we can program a report for that. So it's just a report, as you know, from HTML, so web-based report, and we can program that, and then you can see so it's like, like I showed you in the presentation. So it's like, could be looked like this, also with like a curve or a video in there. So we, you will get the information on, on what you need directly in one or two or three data sheets, one shot or many shots together, or you get the mean value or something like that. So you have like a lot of poss possibilities we can offer you, but it's mostly individual. So we're not providing, you have to use that and you have to use these parameters because we are not the, the trainers. Okay. Just a simple practical uh, example. When we have world championships, team matches played on one table, there is uh, maybe five matches, two and a half hours, let's say. Yeah. 
uh, I film all the matches and then after the system can tell me player A plays 50% uh, of it does is short to forward, receive was long to backhand, first top spin was uh, backhand top spin, I don't know, down the line. Yes. Yeah? Yes, this is what you can do. So you you will not get the data within two minutes then, yeah, okay? okay? Yeah. But you will get all the, yes, yeah. but you will get all the data on, so like, like you have one player in, in the finals yeah. playing against each other. And you can, you can get out the information how many yeah. ball contacts, you can get out the information, is it left or right, yeah. uh, you can get out the information of how good was the technique, and I think the information, what would be interesting for me is, when do I, lose the ball or when do I lost the ball? So is it a fault of my, my, my own technique or was another situation because your opponent was acting unnormal? Because, because unnormal might sometimes be the best way. Yeah. How much does the system cost? Um, a camera system is around 50,000 euro. So it's just a camera system. How much is power? How much the cloud is? Yeah, so, so the cloud is, is, in individual, is in individual. If you just want to have um, tracked the ball, yeah. it is cheaper than if you want to have tracked the complete game uh, within complete biomechanics. It's just, it's take by time. How, how much time do we need to, to, um, to get out the information? If we have um, like some first projects done, the time we need to, to evaluate that, it's getting lesser because we, um, we can adapt the situations to that specific kind of, of movement. Someone call you, 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 come, you will come with, with, your, with your team, with your cameras, record, record uh, the competition or a match? Uh, so, so, yeah, so there are three different methods. At first, yes, okay, we can do that. We, we come with our own stuff, so we have a camera system in our lab. We're coming to you, and we build the camera systems. Uh, the camera systems around. We're capturing. Uh, we also do the data, the data analysis, and you will get a report on base of the data sheet. This is the first thing you can do. Yes. 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 So it's a complete package. Mm -hmm. The next way would be to um, to so you buy a camera system. So just a camera system and you install it in your, in your lab or in your stadium or place or competition place, and you're just capturing the video. And all the videos are going up to our server, so it's a private cloud, and you will get the answers back. Or you can use everything on your own. So you will get the software, you will get education, you will get a camera system, and you can get do everything on your own. This is more for biomechanical labs, because one of our most clients or most big clients are biomechanic labs, sports performance centers all over the world, and they are not using it like within the cloud, so they want to use it on their own because they have knowledge and the guys who can perform the analysis. Um, so there are many different like, like systems or, or ways to do that. Save a lot of time to watch. Yes, of course. To analyze Yeah, yeah. And we know that from, from, our, from our history because we, we also spend a lot of time to click angles and to measure angles, and we're starting with just manual markering, then we use these reflective markers, takes a lot of time to put on, then we are starting with, with variables, use also sensors, but here also we have the problem we cannot use it in every situation because they fall off, and sometimes they are not calculated in the right way. So, so we have definitely the experience of many sports all over the world because we are into many projects, and we know how much time normally is being, or we have to spend to analyze our athletes' movements. And the time is, is so much, so there's so much time to get out like all angle movements and all velo velocities. And like, uh, if you want to have more data, like, like the rotation of the hand and something like that, this cannot be done within just one video and just drawing an angle in. So these informations are being like um, more, more easy assessed within our system. This is like the big benefit here, of course. The problem by now is I think also that um, no one really knows what is the best angle and what is the best um, acceleration of the arm and the wrist and what is um, So it would be interesting to analyze what's the best Chinese players maybe in the world that we can compare them and yes. make analyze with our players, yes. our youth players, to get close to this level. Um, 
I can show you another report. Um, it's just for gate analysis because gate is a very well known uh, movement. Um, so this is just a report from a gate analysis. Okay, and what you see here is green. It's the reference data. And you can also imagine if, you, if you're measuring the, the top 10 players of the world, how they can perform, how do they perform their analysis, you can get out a mean value or like an area which might be the best, which you can compare with. So this has actually been done within many sports. It's in running, it's in gate analysis, and you can also do that within table tennis. And the biomechanics behind that is like I also showed you in this, in this example, the knowledge is, is already here, like these joint angles and the velocity of a joint angle. If there is a minimum time between the, the, the highest velocity of the elbow and the wrist, you have just like a very good impulse. You can just clearly know that you have just to, to, to um, accelerate here, and then you stop, and then you have to accelerate here and here to get the best impulse shot for this. So this is clearly described within, within biomechanics. And um, so this kind of information you can use. And if there is, um, like I know from this player, um, I can just get out wrist, elbow, and shoulder. So this is like the complete match here, she analyzed. And I would go to the point where he loses. So I don't know if it is the right project here. So he won the ball, so this might not be the, the best thing. But there, there was one thing what came in my mind, because this guy here, what we actually are not seeing because he, he won this game, if he lost the game, he always had a very bad shoulder velocity or a shoulder acceleration. So his weakness was, of course, in his shoulder. And mostly he, he got not this, this like, like his arm was in this position and should be on this position. And mostly he, he got not a very big top spin here and the ball flied over the table. So this was my, 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 my first thought about that because but I'm not like the expert of, of table tennis. But you, you can clearly see if there is some, some, some shot was, was not good or, you, you, or the, the ball was not touching the table, you can go to exactly this point and you can see why. Why was that? Was it more like from the hip? Or was it from the elbow or from, from, from the wrist or something like that? So you will see that in the kinematics. And this is a very interesting point because then you know where you have to train. Yes, you can do that. It's just a question for, for Yes, you can do that. Yes. I just, so, so what you can do um, within that software? It's interesting to, to compare yes. to say to say that it's a little bit complicated, but if there will be some, some the same rhythm of, of for instance, for example, yeah. compare. Yes. So you, yeah. uh, you, uh, you, uh, you can overlay, you can yeah. just so, so overlay, or you can just do it. Yeah. Or you can just like like in this situation, I just um, yeah. I can just um, draw in some other visualizations. So uh, what we have here is okay. So this is um, the movement of the the underarm. Okay. So that's what you can also provide. So I, I just go to to a specific thing here. Go to a specific frame. I don't know where it is. Okay, so let's go to this frame here. So you can visualize that in the 3D kinematics, so you can scroll, scroll around. And we can also program in here another skeleton, so there is actually a skeleton in there, looking like that. We can also use another model, so like a model looking more like a table tennis player. So you can scroll in here and you can just analyze your movement completely out of this 3D position. And it's I think more better to, to also describe the failure of your athletic movements to your athlete. Because in the end, your athlete has to perform what, what you want to train, okay? And they are not the experts, so, so you are the expert of that. So, so this was a top spin movement. And he stroked the ball here in that, in that point, he stroked the ball. Okay, so this was the distance, and you can also 
calculate distances and, and some other things. So, or you can also calculate um, where, where is the center of gravity was here. You can also calculate like the, the angles between the legs or the distance between two legs. If, it's, if he is standing right in the right position or is he going very, or is he is going very fast to the other position? Is he able to do that? Or is he too slow to, to be able to, to get from the left side to the right side of the, of the, uh, of the table? Because he is not, um, like, he has a very um, less acceleration of the center of gravity. And this is caused by the left leg, something like this. But this is what you can get out. Thank you.